Hi, I'm Miss Hannah from the Highland Park Public Library and welcome to Library in Your Living Room. Today, I'm going to show you different experiments you can do with citrus. So citrus is a family of fruits, like the ones we see here. Some citrus fruits include grapefruit, lime, lemon, and orange. And these fruits are all similar because they contain high levels of citric acid. So citric acid is a chemical that makes things taste tart. And they often use citric acid on some of your favorite sour candies too, like sour gummy worms or sour patch kids. Today we're going to do different experiments involving these citrus fruits. And you can do these experiments at home too. Uh, before you start any experiments though, be sure to get a grown-up's permission or better yet, ask them to help you out. Let's get started. So for this experiment, you'll need one lemon, one lime, and a large container full of water. I'm using a fish tank here because it's clear and you can see what's going on on all sides. But if you don't have a fish tank, you could use a large mixing bowl or a saucepan, or even your bathtub. So what we're testing here is um, which of these fruits is going to float in the water and which one is going to sink. So before we drop the fruit in, let's observe the differences between these two fruits. Which is bigger, the lemon or the lime? Yeah, the lemon is bigger, right? See, it's almost twice as big as the lime is. And then next, take each fruit in your hand and try to guess which one feels heavier. So I don't have a scale to measure the weight of each fruit, so I'm just guessing. And to me, the lemon feels a little bit heavier than the lime. So with that information in mind, which of these fruits is going to float and which one's going to sink? Take a guess. All right, let's get these fruits wet. We'll do the lime first. Okay, so the lime bounced when I put it in the water, and then it sank straight down. Yeah, it's touching the bottom of the fish tank. It's not floating at all. All right, let's try the lemon next. Okay, the lemon bounced and touched the bottom of the tank too, but now it's floating. As you can see, the lemon is not touching the bottom of the tank at all. And in fact, there's some of the lemon that's even above the water, so it's floating really well. And this experiment um, demonstrates a scientific property called buoyancy. And buoyancy basically means how well something floats or sinks. In general, lemons are more buoyant than limes are. So that means when you drop a lemon and a lime in water together, the lemon is usually going to float because it's more buoyant, and the lime is going to sink because it's less buoyant. This experiment uses citrus fruits with another kind of fruit, apples. So we're going to test whether the juice of a citrus fruit affects how long it takes for apple slices to turn brown. So for this experiment, you will need apple slices and then either some kind of citrus fruit cut in half or the juice of a citrus fruit. So here I have half a lemon. And what I'm gonna do is squeeze the lemon over half of the apple slices. And make sure you get the juice on as much of the white part of the apple as you can. I'm gonna flip this over, make sure I get both sides of each slice. And I'll leave the lemon slice on this plate so that I know these are the apple slices that got treated with the lemon juice. And then this plate of apples is going to be our control group. That means I'm going to leave them alone and not do anything to them. So I'm going to leave both plates of apples, the apples with lemon juice and the apples without lemon juice, just on my kitchen table for about a half hour. So we'll come back in about 30 minutes and see 
whether or not the apples turn brown and whether the lemon juice had any kind of effect. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, so it's been about a half hour since I treated one set of apple slices with the lemon juice and left another set of slices alone as our control group. So now it's time to see what, if anything, the lemon juice did. So let's look at an apple slice that did not get the lemon juice treatment. So you can see it's kind of starting to turn brown and it's definitely drier than it was when it was first sliced. So we're seeing some discoloration for sure. And then here is a slice got the lemon juice treatment. And this slice looks more moist um, and it doesn't show any signs of browning really. It looks almost exactly the same as when it was first cut. And that's because um, when apple slices are cut and then exposed to oxygen, there's a process that happens called oxidation. It comes from the word oxygen. <laughs> Um, and oxidation uh, basically means that the oxygen in the air is reacting with the apple slices and that reaction causes the apples to turn brown. So the lemon juice slows down the oxidation process and when the oxidation process is not happening, the apple slices don't turn brown. So if you're making a recipe and you want the apples to look like they were freshly sliced even after sitting for hours, Hit them with a little bit of lemon juice and they will keep that um, crisp white look to them as if they were just sliced. For this experiment, you'll need two things. A balloon full of air and an orange. So the first thing you'll do is peel the orange. And I'm not gonna peel the whole thing because that would take a while. I'm just gonna peel a section of the orange. Right. Once you have a chunk of orange peel, hold the shiny part of the peel towards the balloon like this. And then squeeze, whoa. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> so, what I did was I squeezed the orange peel and when you squeeze the orange peel this substance called lemonine oil comes out of the peel and the lemonine oil causes the um, latex in the balloon to start to degrade or come apart and then once um, the outside of the balloon starts coming apart there's nothing holding the air inside so the balloon just pops. This is a really great way to use fruit to frighten people. <laughs> For this experiment, we're going to harness the cleaning power of lemon juice. So for this experiment, you will need some lemon juice in a cup and a penny. The dirtier the penny, the better it'll work. So, drop the penny in the lemon juice and make sure that the lemon juice completely covers the penny. Then let it sit in the lemon juice for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes is up, gently wipe the penny with a cloth or a paper towel. All right, we'll see you in 10 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes since I put the penny inside of the lemon juice. And now it's time to see how good of a job the lemon juice did. So I wiped the penny off on this paper towel. And you can kind of see like streaks of dirt that were left behind on the towel. And here's how the penny looks once it's all clean. And it is so beautiful and shiny. And lemon juice is actually a really good cleaner. People use lemon juice to get stains off of countertops. Um, they even use it to bleach clothes and make them look whiter again. 
And um, lemon juice is actually a really good way to clean copper too. And that's because the acid in the lemon juice um, reacts with the crud that's on the copper penny and makes it easier to wipe the crud off. So lemon juice has an amazing secret superpower as a cleaner, and now you know the secret. Now we're going to make an experiment that we can drink. We're going to make a fizzy citrus soda pop. For this experiment, you'll need about a quarter cup of citrus juice to start. Um, this is my lovely grapefruit juice, which is why it is such a beautiful shade of pink. So it's a quarter cup. And then we're gonna add about half a cup of ice water. And that just dilutes the juice a little bit so it's not quite as sour. This grapefruit juice by itself is pretty sour. And then we're going to add about two tablespoons of sugar to this mixture just to give it a nicer taste. And then stir the sugar in until it dissolves. So dissolving just basically means you don't see the sugar anymore in the mixture. Alright, so the sugar is pretty well dissolved. And right now we just have a basic grapefruit lemonade drink. Um, it's not really lemonade, it's grapefruit aid. Um, and it tastes fine by itself, but we're going to add a secret ingredient. And our secret ingredient is a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Here it is. So we'll drop that into the water, into the grapefruit juice water mixture. And then give it a bit of a stir. And let's see how it tastes. It actually tastes fizzy. And you can see at the top, there are some bubbles forming. And that's the baking soda reacting with the citric acid that's in the grapefruit juice. So now you can basically make your very own soda pop out of these ingredients. All you need is a citric acid juice, water, sugar, and then the baking soda causes that reaction to happen. And that happens because citric acid is an acid, and then baking soda is a base. And whenever you mix an acid with a base, you get a nice little reaction. And in this case, the reaction is the fizzy bubbles that are forming. So try this out with different citrus fruit juices. You can do orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice, whatever you have, and you can make a really tasty drink. And there you have it. Those are five fabulous citrus fruit experiments that you can do right in your own home. Be sure to check out our website, hplibrary.org, for more library in your living room programs. And if you like what you see here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, stay safe and wash your hands.